Hi, this is Danny, you and me living free. And today I hope you like the video. I'm sharing uh, a trip that I took last month with my friend, Carol Jean, and we went to Herman, Missouri. It's right on the Missouri River. It has, it was founded by um, a bunch of uh, German American immigrants that came in I think, well, one of the wineries I know started before the Civil War, so they've been there a long time. There are several wineries in this town. It's right on the Missouri River. It's picturesque. It has good food. It has good bed and breakfasts. Um, just a good time for like a girl's trip weekend or something like that if you are anywhere in the area. I had wanted to check out Oktoberfest in Herman for a long time. It had been on my list and it's only a couple of hours away from where I live and I still had never done it in the 25 years I've been in Kansas City. So if you know me or maybe if you're new here, I'll just do a really brief is that I traveled in my minivan for over a year back and forth to Kansas City, a lot of out west, a lot of down south, a little out east, but really only like Florida and Georgia, just a little bit down there. But um, I, I did that and now I have a job in Kansas City, so I'm not gonna be taking big trips, at least for a little while in the short term year. So I am doing more things close to home. I did the gutted event and now I'm doing Herman, Missouri that I can't wait to show you. And even though it is kind of gray and most of the trees have, the leaves have fallen off the trees here in Kansas City now, I took this a month ago when it was um, Oktoberfest in Herman and, um, and I hope you like it. So here it goes. Herman has a lot of charm. It has those um, old, it has kind of a well-preserved historical downtown where they have all the food and all the bars and all the shops and everything. Here's the big bridge that crosses the Missouri River. This is the bed and breakfast that we stayed in called the Helming House. It was kind of expensive, but it was just kind of a treat and I only did it for one night with my friend Carol Jean. Here was our view from the front porch of the Helming or Hemling House and um, and it was delightful. Loved it. Um, highly recommend, but it is spendy. So you can check into that if you are interested. Um, here's the little bar that we ate in for dinner. It was delicious. All the food we had there was delicious. I don't particularly like German food. Sorry about that, but there were plenty of other opportunities there as well uh, for us to enjoy. This was a wonderful little coffee shop. I forget the name of it, but um, it was awesome. And I had like this croissant with, uh, with, with egg and bacon. Look at it. And this fruit plate, it was fantastic. And one of the fun things about, about Herman is these trolleys and you pay $20. You can be on a trolley all day long and they have these trolleys running that take you that'll take you from your bed and breakfast that'll take you to on the winery tours and so they have several wineries that they take you to and so you just pay your twenty dollars one time you can tip the drivers a dollar or two each time they just have the the trolleys running in between the wineries and everything so you can stay as long or as little at each spot as you want to and so you have a whole lot of control and everything ours had these great big windows it was the perfect kind of touristy thing to do and then there were other tourists along with us of course the the couple celebrating their anniversary or a uh, different group and things like that so it was just a ton of fun this was the first stop on our tour Pukta the Pukta winery this was this is the longest um, consecutively running winery in the area that has been in the same family and it was started before the Civil War. Here's the thing though, I was trying to be so smart because I'm always on a budget, I'm always spending, trying to spend not too much money, right? So I thought in all these winery tours, I'll probably buy one or two bottles of wine. This winery was super small, it was probably the smallest or close to the smallest one that we visited and it was also first on our list so I loved the wine but I did not buy any and if I had to go back I would definitely buy all my wine aka two bottles back at this first place <laughs> We had a couple of other stops in the middle, and then here was a one of the big wineries that we went to is called Stonehill. This is probably the largest, and I'll show you later pictures from the tour and everything. They had a restaurant, but there was like a two-hour wait, so <laughs> we did not. Oktoberfest is actually 
uh, the most popular time to go to Herman, Missouri. As you can imagine, it's a German town and it's Oktoberfest. Uh, makes perfect sense, right? But anyway, this is Stonehill. It's the biggest winery we went to. Big, great big operation. It was fun, though, because they had the tours. I did buy a bottle of wine here, but it was not my favorite wine that we had all day. Like I said, that was at the first place. So I bought one bottle, but but that was it. But it was uh, just a beautiful old building, and we got to do the tour, which was so much fun. Let's get down into it. Okay, fun fact. All of this stuff on the walls there that almost looked like black mold when we walked in is actually escaped wine vapor. It's actually vapor from the wine that escapes. Anyway, uh, I did not know that, and um, maybe you didn't either, so I did learn something. Um, the tour guide was talking on and on. I'm sure there was plenty to learn, but you know how that stuff goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> so we get on another trolley ride. And uh, here's the next winery. This was the best view. And I get the, the name of this winery at the end. I think it's the Oak something. But here's this great big pavilion. But it was a gorgeous day and the sun was shining. So nobody wanted to sit under here. You can imagine they might have weddings or something out here. Receptions, big parties. I'm sure you could rent it out. It'd be fabulous. There's my friend Carol Jean. Hey. And uh, just beautiful landscaping. Great to be there you know, wind blowing, just <laughs> so picturesque. I know this sounds like a commercial, but anyway, we, we did probably four or five uh, wineries. They also have a couple of distilleries on the tour, if that is your thing, which it wasn't really mine, but that's cool. And um, we just did, we had good food, we had good fun, oak, Glen Place. That was that winery. So with the beautiful. And then at the end of the day, we went to the downtown deli, which had awesome sandwiches. And this is me um, later on my drive home and that gorgeous sunset coming across Missouri. Um, you know, when you have the nice flat spaces, you do get a good view of the uh, of the sunset and look at that sky and how how cool that was. Anyway, uh, you know, sunsets are some of my favorite things. And a couple more little touristy shots as we just end the video. Thanks for sticking around. And I will talk to you next time. I want to thank all my patrons for their support. Extra, extra love to you. And thanks, you for, and thanks for sticking around. If you're still here, you deserve a medal. I'm sending you a ton of love. And I will catch you next time.